As a programmer, you probably spend most of your time in a text editor or an IDE. This short video, which is all about customizing VS Code, contains three parts, extensions, settings, and themes. Let's go. Sometimes you may need to share some parts of your code with others. You may think of a screenshot, yes, that's the fastest way, but let's do it more clean and neat with Polar Code. Just go ahead and install it, hold Ctrl Shift P and here type Polar Code and open it. And now copy the part of the code you want to share and paste it in Polar Code's windows and here we go. A neat and cool screenshot of the code with your current theme. When your project gets bigger and there are thousands of lines of code, something like a bookmark might be so useful. Just install bookmark extension and to use it again Ctrl Shift P and type bookmarks toggle. And also you can add bookmarks with labels by typing bookmarks toggle labeled and write a label for it. To see your bookmarks, you can easily navigate to this bookmark tab and you can see all of your bookmarks. The next one is Blogman which highlights the nested code blocks. If you are a front-end developer, well this one's for you. Auto rename tag. It automatically renames the closing tag when you change the opening tag and vice versa. It's so cool and helpful. The last extension of our extensions part is Kite. It's the best autocomplete extension I've ever seen and it almost supports any programming language. The first one is changing our cursor. Go to settings and search cursor. Here you can change cursor blinking style. My favorite is expand and as you can see it's way cooler. And the next setting is the style of the cursor. You can select block, underline or whichever you like. In this part we will enable font ligatures. This option will combine different signs into one unique sign, just like JetBrains IDEs. Here I've typed some common operators to show you the difference after enabling the font ligatures option. Alright, let's go to settings again and search for font ligatures option. Select it, an adjacent file will appear. Change this value to true. And we need to change the font family too, because we need to use a font that supports font ligatures. Which my favorite font is Mono by JetBrains. Which is completely free and you can download it from JetBrains website. After downloading it, here type JetBrains Mono. And also we need to specify another thing as well. So just type in terminal integrated font family and the value would be mono space. Alright, we're done. Save settings with Ctrl S and there we go. Font ligatures is enabled and you can see that it tries to combine operators into some special symbols. The last option of customizing settings of this video is format and save. Search for it in settings and enable it. With this option enabled, your code formatter which is optional will format and improve the style of your code whenever you save the file. And now let's change some color themes. The first theme of the list is Electro. It's not annoyingly colorful, but at the same time, its color combination is so beautiful. The next one is Dutune Dark Sea, that is so minimal and got that hacker style to it with that neon green color. And if you are a fan of colorful themes, Shades of Purple might be the right one for you. A super colorful theme and everything is perfectly separated with different beautiful colors. And my favorite theme that I use all the time, North. It is such a unique theme with an amazing color combination that I'm in love with. It's easy on the eyes both in the dark of the night and light of the day. And the color separation is, is okay. Well that's it for today's video, don't forget to subscribe and I see you on the next video, bye.